Now, while today is all about love and relationships, we are about to dive into a topic that can be pretty touchy within any relationship. It's money. Managing money as a couple is so important, especially because finances are like the leading cause of divorce in this country. And obviously, we don't want that for any of our viewers. So here to break down helpful tips you can explore with your partner when it comes to money from our sponsors at Financial Freedom, Julia Carlson. Julia, thank you so much for being here. Yes, hello. Yes. Thanks for having me back. So this topic is so interesting and so, sometimes can be touchy, but why is it so sensitive between partners to kind of like talk about money? Yeah, well, like you shared, it's, it's, a, it's a hard topic for some of us. Yeah. And I think that, you know, a lot of us either uh, don't want to start the conversation because it could lead to arguments. And I also think that some of us want to avoid the subject because then we'll have to change our habits <laughs> Yeah. to then make progress towards our financial goals. Yeah. And so do you think that opposites, we just had a, an expert on kind of talking about opposites attracting, somebody's a saver, somebody's a spender. <laughs> yes. Do you think that opposites <laughs> attract in that kind of realm? I, I think in a lot of cases, yes, they do. You yeah. know, you have one person that likes the number likes to track everything is is pretty good with money and then you you see them matched up with more of that free spirit that and that <laughs> <laughs> that in it of itself is not the problem because actually if we can like uh, like use our differences for strength yeah. that that could be really good yeah but the problem arises when either the the finance or the numbers person doesn't involve the free spirit and yeah. the free spirit like just kind of like I don't want anything to do with it yeah so it's really important to like dig into those and have those juicy conversations True. and and really understand how your strengths can can work together yeah. to your financial goals. If you're the spender, I also feel like you need to get your elevator pitch ready. Honey, we really need this because <laughs> it's so <laughs> so great, so wonderful. Um, and we were talking a little bit about singles, kind of bringing yeah. up the topic of money when you're dating. That's important too. It's so important, yes. Like it's, first date question? Well, maybe second date, <laughs> but <laughs> pretty soon into the relationship, you wanna know, okay, is this person uh, comfortable talking about money? Yeah. Are we aligned with our spending? Do we value the same things? And I think it's really important to understand everyone has a money story that yeah. is often from childhood. So it's really important to understand how are they wired? Yeah. Uh, uh, I can already see myself. Sir, are you a spender or a saver? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> now, yes. what would you say that couples should never do? What's something that they should just stay away from? Okay, are you ready for this? I don't know. Am I <laughs> <laughs> you never talk about money in bed. Oh, oh. Okay. I can only imagine. Yes. Let's elaborate on yes. that. Like, okay, you've both <laughs> had a hard day at work. True. You're tired. You get into bed. Honey. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I used my debit card two times. Or, okay. oh, we lost money in the stock market today. Like, not good things to talk about before you go to bed. Okay, because, uh, and this is such a good tip, because I would almost think, let me let him get in the bed, relax. <laughs> Get, you know, get, get, you know, everything off of his mind. Then I'll break the news to him that I just bought <laughs> Maybe a he'll dress that was $250, uh, an expensive purse. Oh my gosh, that's so, that's such a good tip. Yes. Now, what would, what would you say uh, is kind of like one helpful tip for couples just like trying to build success all across the country? Yeah, so set up that monthly financial date to have a designated time to talk about money. Okay. And then set goals, have fun. Yes. I'm giving you lots of tips here, but it's so <laughs> yes. important to, it's not, money is not supposed to be like, like uh, down and um, fear based. We you can have fun to, with money. Exactly. Yeah. And set some good goals together and then celebrate your success. This yes. is not about lag. This is about how do we create abundance in our lives? Yes. It does not have to be crazy <laughs> and, <laughs> and hard. Julia, thank yes. you so much for being here. We really appreciate you. Huge thank you to Julia and our sponsors over at Financial Freedom. Make sure that you give them a call today. Check out their website. Obviously, they're going to help you with all the tips. Thank you thank so much. You. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!